Hi guys, um, this is my next video. Um, I am going to talk about the Friends Tavern. Um, with the Tavern, I highly suggest you check it daily. Uh, collect all your coins if all your seats are full. Yours may not look like mine. Mine's fully upgraded. But um, coins uh, you will find are pretty valuable when it comes to Guild Expedition and even uh, Guild Battlegrounds. Um, you can find the additional things you can purchase, of course, in the Tavern Shop. Um, the main thing I use here is the extra turns or Guild Expedition, those are kind of invaluable. Um, that one extra turn will mean that you spend less diamonds. Um, I can usually always solve all of the tasks in three, but every once in a while I need that fourth one. Uh, Guild Battleground is a little bit different. <laughs> you don't get a chance for a fourth one uh, it will always cost you diamonds and I think they pretty much did that for a reason but that's just my own opinion uh, so yeah the extra turns I always use uh, under the resource boost you will find those and under military boost the only thing I really use here is attacker boost as far as the rest of the stuff, the only thing I've ever used in low ages was City Shield. Uh, if you have that one person that likes to attack you daily and plunder you and you don't have much uh, DA or DD, this is the only way that you're going to uh, be able to protect your city. But as you can see, they're pretty pricey. So. Now that I'm up in age and I have uh, more um, more higher values as we discussed in the last video, I really don't have that problem anymore. But occasionally, you know, every two weeks after Guild Expedition and Guild Battleground reset and you get a new neighborhood, there's always going to be that person that's going to uh, try and attack you, plunder you, snipe you, what have you. Uh, it's just the nature of the game that's not going to change so anyway yeah those are the main things I use um, from my experiences um, when I'm doing guild battlegrounds um, I generally always do this 30% uh, as you can see it's pretty pricey but it does last for 24 hours a lot of people will tell you that it does not stack with other boosts. Um, I don't find that so. Um, I'm not sure if it's just how they're trying to do it or maybe I'm doing it a different way. But I generally always activate this one first. Uh, then I'll go to my inventory and activate the other one. Uh, the new tab that they added this tavern boost I do not use or I try not to um, however when you come in here it defaults to this and if you're used to doing uh, collecting your coins force of habit will make you hit this button before you realize what you're doing um, to, in my opinion all that does is result in using up all of your stuff in your inventory more quickly than you normally would um, so I try and refrain from using this. Um, it might be a convenience to other people, but not so much to me. Um, anyway, if I was going to fight, um, actually let's go take a look real quick. In my last episode I showed how to check your boosts. We're going to take a look at the uh, AA and AD values, which are 257 and 207. If I come to the tavern and activate that boost I was just talking about. Oops, wrong tab. We're going to do the attacker boost 30% for 24 hours. The only reason I'm doing that is in this particular city my guild expedition is done. 
the only thing I have left is build guild battlegrounds. So what I'm getting at is you do not want to activate the 24 hour if you're still doing expedition because you might want to use that extra turn. In order to use two boost at one time, it's going to cost you 50 diamonds, and I try and keep my diamonds for other things. So anyway, what I'm getting at is, if you're doing both of those uh, little events, you might only want to do the 30 minute. Say if you're going to fight, uh, you could probably get that out of the way in 30 minutes. Then if you're going to flip over and do guild expedition, you might want to do this extra turn for 15 or 30 minutes. That way you can flip flop back and forth. You never have two tasks running at the same time. So uh, you know what I'm saying, it doesn't create any problems. But since I'm only doing battlegrounds, I'm going to do this 24 hour one. It's going to boost the values by 30%. So let's do that. We're going to go back to the town hall and take a look and see what happened. As you can see, my attack values went up from 257 to 287, so it did go up by 30%. Uh, I did not activate the defense part of that, so those values remain the same. What I'm going to do next is, now we could do it since we're here, we could go ahead and do it as I showed in the last video by going here and activating it. Uh, but like I said, I don't really use this, but in this particular one, we're going to do that. Um, you can see this this particular 20% would last for eight hours. I have seven of them, or I'm sorry, five of those, seven, nine, so. Let's go ahead and use a 20. What the heck? So we're going to activate that. Now if we go back and look again, those values have gone up to 307. So those people who said you cannot stack, I beg to disagree with, uh, disagree with them because I'm seeing it right here. So anyway from that, you could go ahead and do your battles. Um, I'm not going to do that in this video because we're focusing on tavern. Uh, I don't want to waste uh, air time or your time. So yes, here's where I'm talking about. You see we have the boost at that 30% boost activated. So if we wanted to do another one, you can see right here it's going to cost you 50 diamonds to activate another. So that's why if I'm doing both events, like I said before, I'll do them for short durations so you can flip from one to the other and it doesn't cost you anything additional. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, if I may have missed something because I'm not doing this with the script, um, I'm just kind of winging it. Uh, please let me know by leaving it in the comments down below. Uh, I'll be sure to address uh, those issues at a later date. So for now, that's going to pretty much do it for the Friends Tavern. Uh, thank you for listening and uh, watching, and uh, I'll have some more videos coming shortly.